Hello everyone, welcome to 14 client side mods that will help with the inventory issue. Now as you all know, the inventory in Minecraft has become quite the problem over the years. With the growing number of items in the game, we are forced to deal with the inventory in most of our gameplay. And you can't exactly get as creative with your builds if you're having to sort through your stuff repeatedly. Which is why I've come up with 14 mods that will help with this problem. Remember that all these mods are client side for Fabric 1.19. So you can run these on pretty much any server, although I have no guarantees that you won't get banned from using some. Now with that being said, let's get into the video. The first mod is the easiest solution, which is to automatically sort your inventory. I've picked Inventory Profiles next because it has the most customizable sorting options, such as sort by rows and sort by columns. It also has the move matching items features, which transfers items from one inventory to another if that item already exists in the destination place. If you play Terraria, this is exactly the same thing as the quick stack feature, which I think is the best time saver when it comes to clearing your inventory. Other features include highlighting the same items, which is useful for finding the item that you're looking for. Another is locking slots which prevents the item from being moved around or whatnot, like move matching items, pressing Q on it, or shift clicking. The next mod is the inventory tabs, which allows you to access other inventories without ever having to leave the GUI to walk and look around for the place you need. This is very useful for transferring items quickly from one place to another. It's a small time save for inventory management, but it's definitely paying off in the long run. Following that, we have the Slot Cycler. This is definitely my favorite mod of the list as it allows you to cycle through slots by column from your inventory to your hotbar. This is most ideal with cycling through your tools all in one slot, which essentially takes up only one hotbar slot and saving room for other things. So if you ever need a tool belt, this is the mod for you. Next is a similar mod that is the Hotbar Cycle. If you ever want to use certain items in your inventory but don't want to mess up your hotbar, you can swap the hotbar rows with this mod. This is ideal for building with block variations and pallets. It also has a second feature which is the swap slot. This is exactly like the previous mod slot cycler where it swaps items from the same column onto your hotbar. Inventory control tweaks as a few more controls to your inventory. You can simply right click to swap armor pieces. This includes chest plates with elytras. There's a few more features but honestly I can't figure out how to make them work. Next we have mouse tweaks. This mod gives more functionalities to the mouse when in inventory. My favorite feature is to simply shift click then dragging your mouse over items to quickly move items from one inventory to not to another. You can also right click drag items to continuously adding items to the stack without ever letting go of the right click. In vanilla, you can't do this as you can only add items to stacks if you let go of the right click. The last highlight of the mod is using the scroll wheel while hovering over an item to transfer individual items to other inventories. Test Tracker is a great mod to find the item you need from storage blocks. It highlights the container that contains the item you chose. This mod is excellent for when you have many storage blocks and don't want to check every single one of them to find something. Another useful feature is that renamed storage blocks will actually have a text over it when placed. I know that signs, item frames, or etc. accomplishes the same thing, but I think this is a great minimalist way to show you where your stuff are. Following that, we have Item Scroller. This mod is a really good way of transferring items in bulk very quickly. The first of its features enhances shift clicking items to other inventories. This moves matching items or similar items. This also includes moving the entire inventory. Likewise to dropping items, you can also do it to drop matching items all in one go. This next feature is for those who trades with villagers a lot. You can simply right click to perform the trade in bulk until the NPC runs out of stock. You can also favorite a trade to move it to the top of the menu so you don't have to scroll down every time. 
Easily the most powerful feature is mass crafting. All you have to do is set up the crafting recipe in this menu, then press a key bind to craft it all at once. I'll leave a video link in the description that guides you on how to set this up. The next mod is Tweakaroo. This mod supplies you with many different tweaks and tools that you can use. I'm not going to go over all features, but the ones that will help us with inventory management. Mainly, these four tweaks. First is the tool switch, which switches your tool automatically when targeting the corresponding block. Next is Swap Almost Broken Tools. As the name suggests, it swaps the tool that is about to break so you don't end up accidentally breaking your tool. Following that is Shocker Box Display, which of course shows you the contents of a Shocker Box by holding Shift. And lastly is Weapon Switch, which switches your weapon automatically when fighting something. For example, if we kill this squid... Bye, have a beautiful time! If we kill this squid... These last few mods are actually more for aesthetic instead of functionality. So let's talk about easily a dark mode. I've chosen dark mode everywhere, which provides multiple dark variants with a simple click of a button. Next is actually a combination of mods, that is smooth swapping and extra sounds. This makes it so transferring items between inventories has smooth animations and satisfying sounds. Shout out to Agent Half Squad for coming out with this combination. Item Borders is a cool mod that lets certain items stand out more with colored borders. Alongside that is Item Highlighter, which of course highlights items that you've recently picked up. So guys, that will be all the mods I have for you today. I hope you found something useful from this list. Be sure to check out the description as all the mod links will be listed there. I've also made the mod pack for CurseForge so you guys can easily install it with no hassle. If you have any more mod suggestions or mod list requests, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching.